Journalism is dead. See, that's called an attention-grabbing headline. It gets your attention, sucks you in. You go, oh, what, what is he talking about? See, you probably, you know, you saw the title of this thing, Journalism is Dead. Oh, what's this crazy guy going to say? Journalism's dead. It drew you in. And that's one of the things that's a problem. We have a journalism now where we have headlines specifically designed to grab your attention and lure you in, regardless of the content of the story. You know, with that whole Florida zombie attack where that guy ate dude's face, right? Well, after that, there's a whole rash of stories where people are trying to connect zombie into any story they can. Oh, someone ate something that was unusual? They're, let's put zombie in the headline because people are looking for this story now and we want to grab headlines to get page views. Because it's all mercenary now. It's page views. They make money. They want money. Done. They're going to do whatever it takes to get you to go to their page. News and accuracy sort of take a back seat to this. But, you know, we know these things, you know. A lot of us have talked about this in various places and whatnot, but there, there's a new threat in town, if you will, a new problem that I have learned about concerning our media today, and I want to just bring it up to you all and let you all know just how screwed it all is right now. I'm not going to say it's dead. I'm going to say it's all screwed up right now, though, and, well, I don't know exactly how to fix it, but... It's a problem. Let's do something, or at least talk about it. The thing I'm bringing up to you is called quote approval. And this is this nifty little practice that got snuck into being somehow, where the candidates of our presidential election, and apparently it's starting to spread with candidates of other elections, will take, you know, interviews. They have interviews with reporters, right? Well, before they can publish the interview, now they got to submit the interview to the PR, you know, management group for this candidate who looks over these quotes and sanitizes them of unfortunate comments or misconstruable ideas, you know? In other words, if the candidate actually says something that's meaningful and useful to the public, it will be carefully sanitized and cleansed of any meaning or identity before we get it. And if you think I'm being hyperbolic here and I'm just making things up, well, look at it yourself. You'll see that I'm not joking here. This is not me just flailing my arms and making things up because I'm scared. No, this is a thing that is happening. It's real right now, where we have people just getting quotes approved or not approved or sanitized and altered just so that the candidates can look better. And that's not news. That's not journalism. Journalism is supposed to do what? I, I mean, report the truth, right? Or at least give us an idea of how things really are. A thing happens. God goes and reports on it. He tells us what happened. That, that's the idea here. But more and more and more, we lose that core idea of journalism. And it's replaced by sales and popularity. Because... What fuels quote approval is access to candidates. If you don't submit your quotes, they don't let you interview the candidate. And that's, that's strong-arm tactics, but it's working right now, and that's a problem. We need people who can say, well, no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to just uh, submit our quotes. And if you don't interview us, we'll run stories about how you're refusing to let us interview you and why. Maybe that would do something. You know, if the news agencies actually called these people out and said, hey, Look what they're doing, public. We can't get access to them because they don't want you to know. You should be outraged. People might just be outraged, but no, instead we have news media and agencies working with the candidates to present a prepackaged and approved vision of what this candidate means. That's not reality, it's not truth, and it's not what we deserve as people. We need to know these things. So wait a minute, are you trying to say that you don't know about how the media is the establishment just like the politicians or the establishment and they're not set up to attack each other? Thomas Jefferson once said that the viability of this nation is grounded in a free press. And he was quite right. We need a free press, the fourth branch of the government, it's as part of the checks and balances of our system. It should attack the government when it's wrong. It should back up the government when it takes actions the people feel are right. But it should report on things as they are, first and foremost, not as people want them to be. Because that's not journalism, then. That's storytelling. And stories are fun, but I don't go to the storyteller to learn about reality. I go to the news, or at least I did. Just something to think about.